Hi folks, I'm Bob Collins. I work with Diver Supply in the Professional Development Center here in Jacksonville, Florida. I'm an SDI instructor trainer and I really enjoy teaching the IDC uh, for new instructor candidates. We have folks come from all over the world, all over the country to train with us. Now, in the back of your instructor, your SDI instructor manual, in the form section, you're going to find a preparation sheet for the academic presentation. Now, you can use that, and the only thing that it doesn't really give you is a good grasp on how to use that within a PowerPoint presentation. And as you all know, PowerPoint has become the death of most of us. But we're going to have some fun with it, and I'm going to walk you through it. Uh, I have also have available the same outline as you have in your manual, except in a PowerPoint presentation format. All right, so why don't we take a little walk through the academic presentation. You can use your prep sheet that you'll use to uh, put together your PowerPoint presentation. And we'll just kind of break these things down so you can uh, follow along and, and understand it. I'm going to shrink myself down here. And what you're going to see is right up here, this is our introduction area. So this column that you see, this is our area of introduction. Now, above my head here, this is the body of the presentation. And here in the middle, this is our, um, the actual material that we're presenting. And of course, over here on this side is our summary section, and these slides that follow underneath it are all about the summary of the subject matter that you're putting out there. Now, over here in introduction, as you see on that first slide, you'll see presentation topic, and also on that slide, you should have the approximate time, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15, 30 minutes, an hour, whatever it's gonna take you to put together uh, and to present your uh, academic presentation. So that's that first slide, and that's your introduction. So the next step down, that's our attention getting step. Now the attention getting step is, is really um, important because it builds your first step in connecting with your students, the people who are in your presentation. And a lot of times what we'll do is say things like, so let's say our subject happened to be uh, a dive mask. So I could ask uh, my students and such there, I could say, so who rides around on a big red truck with flashing lights that wears a mask to go into an inhospitable environment? And then I just want to be quiet, don't want to say anything, and wait for somebody to respond. Pretty obvious, right? Firemen, they wear a mask just like we wear a mask to go into the underwater world because it's truly inhospitable to us as humans. So somebody would say, fireman, and I'd say, very good, exactly right. So what we're hoping for is when we say these things in this attention getting step, that it draws our audience, our students to us. So. You know, be creative during the attention getting step. And when you have that back and forth, when you ask a question and then somebody in your audience answers it, that is an interaction. Be careful, don't answer your own question. If you don't get a response from people in general, then pick someone specifically and ask them, you know, George, do you know who that, that, that might be that I just described, whatever it might happen to be? All right, so that's our attention getting step. Next is our objective. In our objective slide, what we're looking to do is put out that information 
and understanding from this subject matter that the students need to know so that they will be safer divers. So in other words, if they know how to pick a mask or know this information about a mask, then when they're out there diving, and they'll, they will be safer divers, okay? Because they made a good mask choice and they know how to take care of it. They know how to fit it and such. These things are we're gonna you know, put together in our presentation. The next down here is our importance and value. And the importance and value is the everyday application of this information. So when you're out there diving, if you've made a great mass choice based on the information that they're gonna learn during the body, then they're gonna have a great time out there diving. Down here, we're gonna list our key points. Now, a mask, uh, information about a mask could be a very simple little five minute presentation. So if we pick three key points about a mask, we could say things like our first key point uh, our styles, mask styles. Uh, the next key point could be uh, how to fit a mask. And then our last key point could be something simple, care and maintenance, okay? So those are the slides that we're going to utilize to be our introduction area, okay? Now we don't teach in the introduction, okay? And of course, when we get down there to our key points, what we're doing is we're telling them what we're gonna teach them. Let's move here to the body. And all we're going to do is take our key points and we're gonna make a slide for each one, okay? And what we're gonna do is our first slide is gonna say styles of mask. So you could have a couple of bullets underneath that. Remember, this is only five minutes. So we want to make sure we can put together this entire presentation and put it forward in five minutes. So you don't want to get too complicated. So this first uh, slide about styles could be, um, uh, uh, let's say clear skirt or, or black skirt. We could say two, two lens or Panavision. And we could even say, uh, purge or non-purge. Those could be our three bullets right there in that particular slide. Now we go to our next slide and that slide of course is what we talked about down here. Our second point is going to be fitting a mask. So just in general describe the simple steps of fitting a mask. All right. Put it on your face without the strap. Look up. Take your hands away. Breathe in, the mask should collapse on your face. Look forward, gently blow out of your nose, catch the mask in your hand. If it collapses, it fits. You don't push the mask down and then breathe into it. That creates the false seal. So we can always put together that sort of information. Now, one of the things we want to do is sometime during these three slides, Again, we want to have an interaction. Remember that interaction we had over here in our attention getting step? So we're going to have one here. So what, what I could do is I could ask my group in general, how many of you have already uh, bought your mask? And I would be quiet. Two or three people in my eight person class would hold their hand up. I'd say, great. What kind of mask did you buy? What kind did you buy? And so again, we would have some interaction. Now I'm not asking questions about things that I've taught at this point. I'm just building interaction, okay? So let's move again to our body. So our next slide would be um, our care maintenance. So we would want to have a bullet that says, rinse your mask, okay? Fresh water, rinse your mask. And then air dry your mask and keep your mask out of direct sunlight. Little, you know, bullets like that to help them understand how to uh, care for their mask, okay? 
that's our body of our presentation, okay? Now, remember, during our body of the presentation, make sure you don't forget about your training aids. You've got your whiteboard, of course. You've got any handouts that you might put out there. But the actual product is what you want to make sure you've got on hand. Here with this presentation, I've got a couple of masks here. I've got a two lens and I've got a Panavision. And also, I've got a training aid here that helps me reinforce that last step, which is in my sales steps when I talk about continuing education, uh, which is the uh, full face mask. And of course, the full face mask may be being on sale or maybe you buy the full face mask and you get the training for free. However you want to put it together, just don't forget about your training aids. All right, now we're going to move over here. This area is our summary, and the first thing in our summary is we're just going to review key points. Now when we review these key points, all we're going to do is reach right down here and take these key points, move them right up over here, and add the word review, key points, and there are the key points. And all you have to say is, to review the key points, we talked about styles of mask. We talked about fitting a mask. We talked about care of a mask. Don't start reteaching, okay? The next slide down is gonna be, as you see there, restate the importance and the value all you're going to do is reach over here, take your importance and value slide, duplicate it, move it right over here, and add the word restate. So restate your importance and value. Remember that importance and value has to do with the everyday importance of knowing what you just taught them in their everyday application of using the mask when they're out there diving. Okay, then we're going to get in here about um, our objective, and this is going to be talking about testing our objectives. Now, we only had three, three key points, so we don't need to make 10 questions, okay? As long as we have two or three questions, we're fine. And you could just pick, okay, so uh, can somebody name uh, the two styles of mask we talked, or name one of the two st styles of mask we talked about. Can somebody describe how to fit a mask? Can somebody name one of the steps on caring for the mask? And every time you ask the question, be quiet, let your students respond. That's considered an interaction. All right, and for every question you ask, for every objective you test, you should get an interaction. Remember, if the interaction is incorrect, make sure you correct it. So if they give you the wrong answer, correct it and keep moving forward, okay? Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move right down here, see where it says questions. So just remember, when you say, does anybody have any questions? Does anybody have any questions about the material we just covered? Remember, as instructors, if we're working for a shop, we're working to support that shop and keep them in business. If we're independent instructors, then we want to keep ourselves in business, okay? So we're going to sell three things during our sell phase. We're going to sell Con Ed continuing education, like a specialty or a follow-on course that interacts with what we just taught. And a good one in this might be full face. Then our next area that we want to sell is equipment. So if we're going to teach Con Ed, we could say, hey, the ocean reef masks are on special and you get a great deal if you take your continuing education course along with it, okay? And then our last part, our last facet of cell is travel. So we could say something like, uh, every quarter we put together a trip for our full face mask divers with comms to go down to 
say, West Palm and dive down there together. So sell your travel, okay? That's the end of the presentation. You can look at your evaluation form the academic evaluation and see how I did in hitting all of those uh, required uh, facets of the academic presentation. If you have any questions, let us know. You can email me, you can call me. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation on the academics. Again, I'm Bob Collins, SDI instructor trainer, and as I always say, dive safe.